Hello again and welcome back to the Columbia Green Community College Libraries video tutorial series. I'm John Santana, your reference and circulation librarian. This tutorial today is going to be about our online databases. These are the databases where you locate your scholarly articles. So to locate those from the College Libraries homepage, you just go over here to the left hand side and there's databases. You click on that and eventually you get to this page. In this particular page, we have them broken down by category based on the class that you are doing your research for. So if you're in a psychology class, you can click to this. It takes you to the list of psychology databases and so on and so forth. Multi-subject databases are as they seem. They're databases that cover a variety of subjects. So if maybe one is not exactly clear or you're not finding the results you want in a subject-specific database, you can try the multi-subject. This is also where you find our online reference materials. So if you don't want to come into the library and use our reference collection of encyclopedias, there are options there. We also have a couple of streaming video uh, sites available as well. Uh, our streaming video site is called Films on Demand. As you can see, we also have links to specific collections within Films on Demand embedded within each database category. Now, to, now, as far as navigating these categories, you will notice that these are arranged in alphabetical order by title. So ACLS Humanities eBook comes before the Oxford English Dictionary and the Religion and Philosophy Collection. Now, you can kind of gather a little bit about what a particular database offers by looking at its title. For instance, Humanities Source. But what if you want to know a little bit more about it? What if the title of the database is a little more vague? How are you going to find out more? Well, see this little uh, square with the question mark in there? That's a pop-up window describing the Humanities Source database and any database. You click on that and you get a little informational pop-up. And it gives you a description of what's available. So I'm not going to go into detail about searching specific databases. Instead, what I wanted to show you is ways that you can search and utilize these databases. And the way you want to do that is you'll want to go back to the library's homepage. And you'll want to, add, we have a uh, research guide set up with video tutorials for using the databases. So to access our research guides, what you'll want to do is you'll want to click on the search Primo feature. That will take you into Primo. And then at the top of the page, you will find a tab for research guides. Also, if you're within Primo already and you want to go to the databases, we have a tab here that will take you to the page I just showed you. So getting back to the research guides, you click this, you come to this particular home page. And our database video tutorials is under the broad category of research guides. And these are arranged in alphabetical order for database video tutorials and it has features several of our databases. So you click on that and you come to this home page. And on this home page here, there are several tabs that can help you navigate the site. Think of these tabs as like tabs in an old fashioned file cabinet that maybe your grandmother has in her house. This, or maybe your parents do. Some people are like that. So what you wanna do is you can click to the specific one that suits your, your particular needs. Now, EBSCO database tutorials, we don't have a data, too many databases that say EBSCO in there. However, I called it that because almost half of our database offerings are provided by a company called EBSCO. So the tutorials here that are on the right side of the page where it talks about advanced searching, gives you an introduction to it, and how to read an article on those tutorials, they apply to all of these databases listed here on the right side. So there's actually, you can see there's quite a bit here uh, covering a variety of subjects. EBSCO also is the, one of the providers of our ebook databases. And if you're working from home and you need books and you're really kind of reluctant to come into the library to actually get physical books, or maybe if you're working and you just don't have the time to be able to come in, the EBSCO ebook collection is a great way for you to get books for your research projects. And the two videos that we have here uh, offer uh, how to download the ebooks, also how to download EBSCO ebooks to your mobile device. So even if you don't have a desktop computer at home or 
maybe someone, or maybe your kids are using it for their schoolwork, you could still utilize that that way. Up here, we have video tutorials for a variety of other databases. Uh, for instance, there's JSTOR. This is great for historical research uh, and other uh, areas as well. And there are four videos on here that tell you how to search it, um, how to use tools within there to organize your research, uh, and even how to use ebooks within the JSTOR database, and also descriptions on setting up a JSTOR account. Okay, and next one that we, the next couple are applicable if you're in a criminal justice class or perhaps even political science, and that is Nexus Uni. Nexus Uni is absolutely excellent for uh, research in criminal justice as well as law, and these tutorials cover just about every feature imaginable. You know, things like searching from the home page, using the advanced search feature, uh, accessing court cases by party name, uh, or by citation or even docket name. And for certain criminal justice classes, you will be using this resource. If you are in a criminal justice program, uh, you will also uh, probably be using criminal justice periodicals. And there's three tutorials on this page that tell, show you how to utilize the advanced search feature, how to make sense of search results and a publication search as well. Uh, another one that's broad based and can apply to several different courses is America's News. That is a database that offers uh, newspaper articles from throughout the country. And you can see here they have things on how to narrow your search by dates, how to cite articles or email an article, uh, which is a great feature. Whenever you are searching a database, I recommend emailing a copy of what you find to yourself. The reason is this way you have a backup. Let's say you print up an article or you download it, you lose the paper copy, or maybe your hard drive crashes or spill coffee on it. You can log on to a different machine. You'll have it there as a backup. All right, so uh, we have a few more here that I'll show you and then we'll wrap things up. Art Store is another database we have, and it's not just for art students. It's, an, it's a large image gallery. All of these are suitable for academic use. So if you have any class where you might need images for your research paper or images for a uh, presentation you might have to make, maybe you might have to make a PowerPoint for, for, um, for a class project, you can do it through Art Store, and this tells you some features there. If you're an English 101 student and you need to write a research paper, the database Opposing Viewpoints is a fantastic one. And this one video on here gives an overview of searching it and, how, and it highlights some of the features. If you need to look for information, uh, some preliminary information for your research project, Britannica Academic is a fantastic resource. It's more than just an online encyclopedia. The uh, video tells you some of the features it has. It also has images as well that you can use for your research project. And the final database tutorial we have is for the Oxford English Dictionary. And that's more than just looking up the meaning of a word. And you can search this tutorial to find out more. Most of these videos, tutorials on here, are shorter than this particular video. So if you have made it to this point, you can make it through some of those video tutorials. Thank you very much for paying attention today.